Hello my lovelies, welcome to my channel. Here we are doing the middle of the month love readings. Yes, we are a bit behind. I want to apologize, we are currently doing so much. <laughs> we had announced that we would be uh, announcing uh, some changes and some things that we would be offering in the month of June. But because of everything that's happening worldwide, everyone's trying to get their consultations and uh, for those of you guys that are trying to get readings, now is the time to reach out as we're quickly booking for June and July. Just putting it out there. Okay, this is going to be for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus in regards to love and romance. All right, Taurus, you have change, simplicity, and illumination. Partner or person of your interest has wisdom, taking risks, and opportunity. All right. Ooh, for some of you guys, this is new love. Okay. All right, Taurus. There is currently a lot of changes that are happening. Whether you feel that there has been almost a feeling of stuckness or like things are not progressing as quickly as you would want, keep in mind things are happening and being orchestrated in the background things that you're not aware of. So there's going to be a lot of changes happening for not just the end of May, but going into June. Um, for some of you guys, it could be changing residency. For others, it could be changing location, um, changing employment, changing, um, for some of you guys, even changing professions. Now, the Simplicity card speaks here directly about um keeping things simple and organic when it comes to relationships or when it comes to partnerships. And illumination is, for some of you guys, coming to terms with a situation that perhaps you felt in the past like there was a possibility of them changing or of you wanting to fix the relationship. And it's almost like it's dawning on you or coming to a full circle of understanding that you cannot change the person that you cannot change who they are, and there's either acceptance here or there is a decision that will be made in regards to ending something that is no longer working for you, Taurus. With the Illumination card, uh, keep an open mind and stay very aware of the signs that Spirit is giving to you. This could be angel numbers. This could be through dreams, prophetic dreams, or dreams that carry messages with them. Uh, as I see a lot of spiritual beings being around you and trying to guide you in this situation. Now, in regards to the partner, the person that you're dealing with, wisdom, this could be a person that you're dealing with that is older than yourself. Taking risk could represent a person that, a person that is older and you would expect them to be a bit more mature. Unfortunately, this is a person that takes unnecessary risk. This is a person that perhaps is not very smart with their money or perhaps not very smart based on the decisions that they make in regards to either re the relationship itself or uh, decisions when it comes to their finances, when it comes to uh, business, when it comes to their job even. Uh, this could be a person that has difficulty saving or thinking of the future. They kind of live in the moment. And that could be one of the trigger points or the issues that is coming about. Um, now, if you are in a long-term committed relationship or in a marriage, you may be experiencing kind of like the partner taking unnecessary risk or even financial losses in the sense of, you know, when a person gets to, when they say they're having a middle life crisis, a midlife crisis, that's what I see playing out. Like the person is older, you would think they're much more mature or wiser with their money. It could be that for the, in the spur of the moment, they buy a very like sp like sporty, expensive car, or they're being very irrational when they make their decisions. And opportunity uh, speaks directly with the taking risk. It, it speaks about them trying to live in the moment, trying to live in the now. Um, so it could be that they are, in fact, for some of you guys, they are deal you are dealing with a partner that is currently experiencing like a midlife crisis. Um, for others of you, it could just represent that, uh, you know, this, the person that you're dealing with or your partner, uh, by them making those unnecessary or taking unnecessary risk or changes, 
at this point in their life, perhaps where you thought they would be much more stable, um, they're kind of doing the opposite and you're not understanding exactly what's going on. The opportunity card speaks about them getting to the point of feeling like it's now or never. And it's almost the feeling of urgency of having to change uh, certain aspects about themselves. It could be as simple as maybe changing their diet. It could be that all of a sudden they become, they're wanting to take care of themselves and stuff like that. Or it can be as grand as, as like I said, uh, buying a sports car or something out of nowhere. Um, so what they're saying here is, what they're showing me is, there is a need within you, Taurus, to... You're trying to find the stability, not just financially, but emotionally as well. And I think that the partner, you may be experiencing that the partner is currently checked out, meaning they're more concerned and focused about themselves and what they want at this point in time. And with that, change and simplicity is something that is going to be very prominent for you. Change, again, like I said, the acceptance of who they are or change in the sense of not wanting to continuously keep dealing with the same situation where you make a decision. And simplicity, you're cutting down, um, getting to basically the needy greedy, and accepting if this is the type of life you want to deal with, or if not, making the change that is going to make your life much more easier, uh, much more simple, less complicated, okay? All right, my lovelies. Now, for those of you guys that are currently single, there's a lot of changes that are coming for you. Like I said, with simplicity, there is a need to keep it as simple and as practical as possible. Illumination speaks about, again, the messages of being uh, either guided or spirit guides being around you, trying to open pathways and doors for you, as well as bring into you a person that is much more ideal. With the simplicity card, be, when it comes to relationships, be as simple as possible. Try the best you can when you go into getting to know someone or in the getting to know someone phase. It's important not to have very high expectations because when you have expectations, you're putting resistance. And when you're putting resistance, you're creating blockages. So try to keep it as organic and as friendly as possible. Just try to enjoy that time that you're getting to know each other without any expectations. And you will quickly start to see that you get momentum, that you start connecting with people that are of your same tribe, that you start to connect with people that are wanting the same goals or aspirations that you do. With the wisdom card, it may be a person that is much older that's coming towards you. Uh, with the taking risk, it could be a person that is very proactive, a person that has everything they've had, they've kind of created for themselves. And at this point in time, they're just searching or looking for an opportunity, a new beginning, a new relationship. Okay, so I definitely see this person uh, being very, they're very secure in their life at this present time, and they know exactly what it is that what they want. If you can see here, we have a new moon. So it's representing a new beginning that they're in search of. So again, uh, very good cards. Like I said, don't let the fear keep you from being able to move forward. Sometimes the unknown, there's beauty behind that. Even if you feel, for those of you guys that are you know, hesitant about uh, starting anew or walking away from a relationship that is just not working out for you, Sometimes the not knowing is a beautiful thing. Why? Because the potential is endless. So I hope you guys enjoyed this reading and we'll see each other soon. Bye.